Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's session, I'll be discussing about the insect resistant plants. In the last video, I discussed about the applications of biotechnology in agriculture. I started with introduction and now we will do some of the applications first starting with insect resistant plants. Then there are other applications also like pest resistance and also transgenic plants, production of transgenic plants. So now we are going to discuss about insect resistance plant. Now what is this insect resistance? Normally we can use insecticides are used in order to kill insect pests. But these insect pests or these insecticides are very harmful to the plant as well as to the environment. That's why a bacterium which produces the toxin, a particular toxin and the gene present in the bacterium is introduced in any other higher plant by genetic engineering techniques. So that is how the insect resistant plants are produced. So here what is that gene? The gene is called as Bt toxin gene. Bt toxin gene. This Bt toxin gene is extracted from bacteria. It is extracted from bacteria and it is introduced into a plant. Introduced into a plant. So this introduction will produce a plant. It will make resistant to one particular insect. So it functions as insecticide. So this can be called as a bioinsecticide. So this is what is this used as? It is used as a bioinsecticide. So by using this Bt toxin, many plants it is introduced starting first with the cotton and it is named as Bt cotton. Similarly Bt brinjol, Bt corn, potato, tomato, several other plants it is introduced. Of course most successful is cotton plant because all others are edible. They are vegetable plants, edible plants, edible parts. So this, there was an objection raised regarding these, uh, say, authenticity or regarding safety of these, uh, this Bt toxin gene for human consumption. So therefore, we have, though we get, these days we get some of these uh, products in the market, but it was not accepted. So most accepted here is Bt cotton. Now, this Bt cotton, Bt cotton gene, is extracted from a bacterium. What does that Bt stands for? So what is the source of this toxin? What is the source of this toxin? Where at all it is produced? Source of this toxin is the bacterium Bacillus Bacillus thuringiensis. Bacillus thuringiensis, that is source of this toxin. That's what is Bt stands for. Bt stands for name of this bacterium, that is Bacillus thuringiensis. And this Bacillus thuringiensis produces a particular toxin, which are specific to a particular insect. They are insect specific toxins are produced. And the toxin can affect three types of insect belonging to three different orders of insects. The order of insects to, uh, to which this toxin is affected. These are first belonging to lepi lepidopteran insects. Belonging to lepidopteran Lepidopteran, this particular order, Lepidopteran insects. And here the example is tobacco, tobacco bud worm. It is tobacco bud worm and army worm. 
tobacco bud, bud worm and army worm those are the examples of insects belonging to this order and which can be affected by this uh, particular toxin coleopteran insects second one is coleopteran insects coleopter coleopteran insects mainly example beetles coleopteran insects mainly are the examples are the beetles third category is dipteran insects dipteran insects examples are flies and mosquitoes flies and mosquitoes so this toxin which is produced by this bacterium it can affect these three types of insects now now let us see what is the mechanism of this effect of this toxin how does this toxin affect the insect and why it does not kill bacterium itself because it is produced in the bacterium it does not kill the bacterium but it kills only the insect so now how is it produced so first thing we can say so here i will give the topic as the mechanism of action of this toxin mechanism of action of the toxin so what are, what is the mechanism first this toxin is produced by this gene so first toxin is produced toxin is produced in bacterium bacterium through a specific gene through a specific through a specific gene it is produced and this toxin which is produced toxin which is produced it is inactive it is inactive and it is called as it is called as protoxin it is inactive and it is called as a protoxin that means this protoxin form will not affect the bacteria at all now once this toxin enters into once the toxin once the enters into the gut of the insect if toxin enters into the gut of the insect then it becomes active it becomes active because of alkaline ph of the gut because of alkaline ph of the gut this toxin will become active so once it becomes active then what does it cause the toxin causes pores on the epithelial lining of the gut pores on epithelial lining of gut and then causes the lysis of cells finally causing the death of the insect so it is more active in the alkaline ph so once it is in the bacterial cell it remains in the inactive state but once it enters into the gut of the insect then it becomes active due to alkaline ph and thus causing the death of the insect that's how this toxin acts now now let us see what happens after it enters now let us see what happens to be how it can be introduced after now what we have seen is the mechanism we have seen the mechanism and now let us see how this gene can be introduced what are the methods of introduction of this gene methods of the introduction so now let us see introduction of the gene introduction of gene so how this gene first of all can be introduced into any higher plant like for example cotton 
So to introduce into a plant, there are two methods can be followed. So little bit we will discuss them in detail. So first method is agrobacterium mediated transfer. Agrobacterium mediated mediated transfer. Agrobacterium is a soil bacterium initially. Once it enters into the plant through roots, this bacterium causes tumors in the plant. It causes the disease. You know it causes the disease called as crown gall disease. Agrobacterium causes the disease called crown gall disease which is a tumors which are produced and finally causing the death of the plant. So this agrobacterium can be used for transfer of this gene. So how is this transfer? This agrobacterium why it is used? Because it can easily infect a higher plant. It can easily enter into a higher plant. Introduced into a higher plant. So how is this done? So first say this is the agrobacterium. Agrobacterium will have a plasmid. Agrobacterium will have a plasmid. Suppose this is the plasmid of the agrobacterium. This plasmid will be removed from the bacterium. This plasmid is removed. And the plasmid consists of a particular gene called as a tDNA. Plasmid consists of a particular gene called as a tDNA. So, this tDNA is actually the disease causing gene. So, this tDNA is removed. This tDNA means T stands for tumor. So, tumor inducing DNA. The, what is this plasmid called as? This plasmid is also called as a TI plasmid. Tumor inducing plasmid. This plasmid consists of a small portion, a small gene called as a tDNA. This tDNA is removed because the plasmid should not cause any disease to the plant. Instead, it should help in introduction of the new gene. So, the disease causing gene here is removed. Now, this plasmid, now it is called as a disarmed pathogen. Disarmed. What is the meaning of disarmed? It is made non-pathogenic. It is made non-pathogenic. It cannot cause any disease. Now, into this plasmid, which is now tDNA is removed. So, wherever tDNA is removed, in its place, suppose it is removed here, in its place, the new gene is introduced. What is that new gene? The gene which produces the toxin from the bacterium. The gene is taken from the bacterium, Bacillus thuringiensis, by different methods. There are different methods of extraction of that gene and that gene is introduced into this plasmid. Now, this plasmid is now modified plasmid. Now this modified plasmid, it is reintroduced into the bacterium, agrobacterium. It is reintroduced into the agrobacterium. This consists of gene for toxin production, new gene for or desirable gene for toxin production. Now. Now we got the agrobacterium cells having the Bt toxin gene. Now this agrobacterium cells are introduced into any host cell. Like for example if it is a cotton. So now this agrobacterium cell, this is agrobacterium cell with modified plasmid. It is now mixed with any host plant, host cell. Host cell is for that of the cotton cell. So when it is mixed with that easily this bacterium so how are they mixed how are they fused actually the fusion of cells can take place bacterial the plasmid will not enter into the host cell eukaryotic cell will not have capacity to take any external DNA. So what is done is these two cells are fused with each other. Both will have cell wall and cell membrane. So cell wall is first dissolved for both. 
So what is remaining if the cell wall is dissolved? The remaining part of the cell is called as a protoplast. So protoplasts are fused for both the cells. Now we get a hybrid cell. We get a hybrid cell that is a cotton cell from cotton and also agrobacterium containing the new gene. Now this hybrid cell, the plant can be grown by using tissue culture technique. By using tissue culture technique, now the new plant can be grown. That is how through agrobacterium, the gene can be introduced. This is the most common method for introduction of gene into the any higher plant cell. Now, now let us see what is the second method. <coughs> now we will see the second method how the gene can be introduced into the bacterium, into the plant cell. This is called as, the second method is called as a biolistic method. Biolistic method or it is also called as a gene gun method. Biolistic method or it is also called as a gene gun method. So here there is no host of the cells required, host cells are required. Directly the DNA, the gene is taken. And it is bombarded with high speed particles then introduced into the host cell. Suppose host cell is taken here. Host cell. Host cell we know say for example it is the cotton. Cotton cell. So cotton cell is taken here. This is mixed with. Cotton cell is mixed with. A. So what is this biolistic or gene gun? In biolistic or gene gun, heavy metal is used. Heavy metal particle. Heavy metal particle like gold or tungsten is used. Heavy metal particle like gold or tungsten. Gold or tungsten is used. Gold or tungsten. So, this particle, this heavy metal particle is coated with, it is coated with DNA. Desirable DNA or a gene. Whatever gene we are interested in or whatever DNA, it is coated with DNA. And then it is bombarded. Bombarded. With a high speed, with a high speed into a host cell. So there is an instrument here where it can help in like a gun, how we can introduce. Similarly, there is a projectile or gun-like structure where it is bombarded with a very high speed. So that this particle which is coated with the desirable one, it will directly enter into the host cell. Once it is entering into the host cell, now the DNA has already entered into the host cell. So this DNA now will start multiplying during the next stage of cell division. So this is how, this is the second method how the gene can be introduced. One is agrobacterium based uh, transfer. Second one is biolistic method or gene gun method. So by these two methods, the Bt toxin gene can be introduced into any higher plant cell. Now in the last part of this, let us see what are all the genes which are in the last part of this topic. We will see what are the genes actually which are involved in the production of the toxin. So let us see what are the genes. Genes which are involved. So the genes are species specific gene. Species specific. And the choice of this toxin or this gene 
will depend upon the host. So it depends upon the host and there is a relation between the host and the choice of gene will depend upon the crop and the target pest. So choice will depend upon choice of gene depends upon depends upon the crop and target target pest crop and the target pest so these are insect specific insect specific so let us see what are these genes and what is their target pest so let us see how are these genes named as so cry 1 ac that is one gene and cry 2 ab cry stands for the protein crystalline protein it is a crystalline protein which is produced that is what is the toxin toxin is in the form of crystalline protein so that's why it is named as cry 1 ac and cry 2 ab these two genes the toxin produced by these two genes will affect cotton ball worms toxin produced by these two genes will affect the cotton ball worm another gene cry 1 ab cry 1 ab this will target the corn stem borer this will target the corn stem borer so these are the specific genes. Now the question asked here, at least one question in the need, it will be asked every time. So the question most commonly asked here are, first thing is, how is the toxin gets activated? How is protoxin becomes active? So what is the answer there in the alkaline pH of the gut? So it becomes active. The next very common question asked is about these genes about the genes. So these two are very very commonly asked questions from this particular topic. Okay children. So here I stop this topic. I complete this topic here. In my next video, next session I will be discussing about the examples of transgenic plants. What are different examples along with their what are their unique features. So that's all for now. So thank you very much children. Have a good day and once again those who are not subscribed my channel, please subscribe and share to your maximum friends so that I may reach the maximum number of my students and other viewers. So thank you very much. Have a good day.